How's it going, everybody? And welcome to another session of the Let's Talk Show by Interlingua. I am Mike Reese, your host for tonight. And, wow, let me just calm down a little bit because the people who have followed throughout this year and throughout the past few months these broadcasts know that when I get very passionate about the topic that we talk about, I get carried away. So I am about, I'm, I'm trying to find my inner zen to calm down a little bit so we can do this the proper way. Because boy, oh boy, do I love today's topic. Popcorn at home, movies, TV series, home entertainment, going to the movies to forget about everything else for a while. Do you do that? Do you love watching films? Do you love watching TV series, TV shows? With today's platforms, streaming services, everything is at reach. Every single series that you want to watch, every single movie that you want to watch, even the ones that you used to watch when you were a kid, now you can remember them, you can watch them again, and of course, you can live those moments one more time be sure to leave in the comment section which are the movies that you love to watch which are the movies that you recently discovered or tv series it's all the same but now let's bring out our guests making their return to the let's talk show here we have adri and jordi let's go hello hello How's it going, fellas? Oh, yeah. Good, I'm good. <laughs> good, thank you. Okay, okay, good to have you guys here. I think you guys are the ones to talk about today's topic. Just let me calm down a little bit. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go. Tell me, guys, let's just, you know, let's get in the mood a little bit. Let's just talk something nice, something very easy to to talk about and then we will climb up the ladder <laughs> but don't worry don't worry you got this you got this tell me guys do you find any relief or comfort by watching either series or movies Adri. Maybe not relief, but it can be kind of exhilarating. It's um, I feel emotions and every okay. different kind of emotions while watching it, and it's cool. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> totally, totally. What about you, Jordi? What do you feel? Well, I think uh, you can. Well, in my particular case, I experience like all range of emotions. I, I sometimes. Uh, I mean, I like to watch new things for the emotion of discovering new things, but I think I am a most uh, the kind of person that watches like things for comfort, you know, like I watch the same uh, TV show like uh, once a year or the same movie uh, once a month. And uh, and I mean, I, I know I do it because I know what is going to happen. So uh, uh, I... I get relaxed. It's like, as you said, it's basically comfort. But yeah, I think in my case, it's like the, the wide range of possible emotions. Yeah. What are those movies or shows that you return to every Ooh. period of time? Okay, uh, every year I watch American Gods and I watch Hannibal, I mean, the, the TV show. And about movies, I watch every every June. I watch Midsummer. Yeah, because it matches the time of the year, of course. Yes, of course. Midsummer. Woof. <laughs> my skin, bro. My skin. What about you, Adri? What are the what is the content? Let's call it that way. That you return to every. Uh, every sort of period of time? Mm, I Well, I don't watch TV that much, but when I do, I usually watch the same things. I mostly watch Studio Ghibli. I watched religiously uh, My Neighbor, Totoro, uh, Spirited Away, and Hell's Castle. Um, 
during fall and winter, I tend to watch uh, Harry Potter. And I am a horror fan. And there is this movie that I watch practically every two months. It's a Train to Busan. But it's a, it's a oh, ama an amazing movie. It yes. caught me by surprise when I saw it. I didn't expect anything from it. And it was like, whoa. You go through all whoa. the emotions with that movie. <laughs> Every single one of them. You even laugh. Because it yeah. has like this comedy bits. Mm -hmm. It has everything. It has everything. Train to Busan. Two great movies. You have mentioned two great movies, guys. So let's let's remind our viewers which ones are they as a recommendation. <laughs> Midsommar and Train to Busan. Both related to the horror genre. Mm -hmm. Could this be your genre of choice when watching either a series or a TV sh or a movie, guys? Adri? Definitely. <laughs> I usually, okay. when I open Netflix, I go directly to either horror or thriller. And if I can find anything there, I just look, go looking for something else. But usually it's horror. Okay. What about you, Jordi? Honestly, no. <laughs> no, I, I, okay. I am the kind of no, guy that, that says, great. I mean, I am the, the, the kind of person that says, you know what, I hate horror movies, but then uh, I find out like, ha, huh, but what about my favorite movie? It's, it's a horror movie. Like, what what's going on? I mean, I, I, I mean, I normally prefer to watch like thrillers or like, you know, action movies with uh, people kicking ass and whatnot. But uh, if you ask me, I am always going to say I am not a horror movie person. But okay. yeah, sometimes I, I watch uh, some of them. What could be then your genre of choice? Comedy, uh, action, science, sci-fi, why not? No, I think my, my genre, it's... Uh, Fantasy movies. That's my thing. Yeah. I okay. Mean, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've talked about uh, your um, your fascination for this universe created by J.R.R. Tolkien, and that that saga actually it's a miracle within itself because at some point it it was thought to be unadaptable. But then along mm -hmm, came mm -hmm. Peter Jackson. And even though voilà. some of uh, some of the effects uh, seem a little bit outdated, it's still fascinating to watch. It's, yes. it's still a great trilogy. Which leaves me to the things that we like, but we didn't expect to like what what do i mean by this for example i hate rom-coms romantic comedies i don't like them they are very similar sometimes if you watch one you have watched 20 of them mm -hmm. however however i recently discovered that I, oh man i recently discovered that i quite enjoy romantic k dramas Oh, yes. I don't know why they, I still haven't figured out how they are different. Maybe they take it a little bit more seriously. Maybe they cover a lot of things surrounding the, the starring romance. But I discovered that I like them very much. Have you had an experience like that, that you didn't expect to like something and you ended up loving it? Are they Maybe with action. I hate action with a passion. I hate it so much. <laughs> I, I, I find it really boring. That's why. I think that, like you said, you watch one and you watch all the movies because it's always the same. A guy trying to solve a mission or someone is following the others and that's the whole movie. Uh, but there is this movie. That, that, that's a movie I sometimes watch a lot. It's called Baby Driver. Uh, it's, oh! it's a really good movie. 
And I really like that movie, and I wasn't expecting to actually like it. Yeah, it's it's a nice movie, and I was like, oh, maybe I do enjoy some. <laughs> it also has a great soundtrack. It does. The music in that movie is top yes. quality. Really good. Top quality. Great choice. Great, yeah. great, great choice. <laughs> What about you, Jordi? Well, I think in my case, it's obviously with horror movies <laughs> because I, I was tired or I am tired of horror movies uh, depending on jump scares to, to make you react. And I was like, I mean, that is, they are not even trying. Uh, like when, when you see like a, like an open shot, you know something is going to jump mm -hmm. in, in front of you. It's like, ah. But when, when I saw, what was the first one that I saw? I think it was The Witch. Uh, with, oh. uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's yes. horror, but, but it makes you like uh, anxious, not because things that happen on screen, but because of the uh, environment and all the, um, how can I say this, the ambiance that they build around uh, the, the, the events. So I found out that that is my kind of horror, the, 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 the horror that makes you anxious because of what is happening and you cannot see rather than the things that they show you. So, the psychological yeah. horror. Yes, exactly. That's the best one. Of yeah. course. Yes, that's my thing. Actually, it is. All right. All right. Another wonderful film, The Witch. Yeah. Now, guys, let's get a little bit personal for a little, for a while. Tell me, is there a how can I put this? Is there a particular stage in your life that maybe was marked or represented by a series or a movie in particular? Maybe that you were watching at that time or that it was a big hit or you watched it with someone that you became really close to or that you still uh, you still love, maybe? Adri? Well, maybe at the moment when it was released, no. But uh, Coco from Disney was the one. Um, Around August, my grandfather died, and uh, I had a very smart idea to watch the Coco after his funeral. And I was bawling my eyes out. I was crying a river with that movie. It was very mm. sentimental for me and very emotional. Of and course. it's one of my favorites. I think we all got very emotional by <laughs> watching that movie for, for one or many reasons, like That movie hit us all, all yes. in, in some way, in some way. What about you, Jordi? Well, I, I, I cannot say I have seen it, but <laughs> I, I might be the only person that hasn't watched it. But okay, <laughs> um, the, in my case, it, it is, and I know for sure, it's uh, The Lord of the Rings. I grew up watching those movies. I mean, my okay. childhood and my early uh, teenage uh, years, I spent them with The Lord of the Rings. And, uh, and then when the, the Hobbit movies uh, were made, I mean, I was there in the, in the movie theater. And uh, this is going to be very stupid, but I cried with the first Hobbit movie because it was like uh, coming back to, to, to Middle Earth. And I cried with the final Hobbit movie because, because it was like saying goodbye and, and you knew uh, there, there wasn't going to be anything, uh, anything else. But then, well, we had a TV show and I was like, yes, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that but, in my but, case, it was it. Speaking of that, before I jump to something that I want to share with you guys, what did you, you as a diehard fan of the Tolkien universe of the Middle Earth, what did you thought about the Rings of Power? I think, I think it's okay. I mean, okay. There, there were a lot of changes that I was like, why? But um, 
there were some things that I was, ah, okay. Uh, when, when you see them, you immediately know, like for example, uh, well, some locations, I'm not going to spoil anything, but some locations, like when they mention them, when you see them, you know, ah, this is this place. And then uh, this, this is going to happen in this place. So yeah, but um, I, th I think it was okay. I mean, I'm not going to like uh, completely defend it, but it's enjoyable. Okay, it entertained you, which yeah. is always the main goal for this sort of content, right? Okay, yes. and I just said that, I, I, I was just thinking that when you mentioned that, you thought it was a little bit stupid, you crying with, uh, with all the, well, everything surrounding the Hobbit. May I share with you guys that I did exactly the same thing when uh, they released the new Star Wars trilogy. Do you remember that, you know, yeah. it supposedly ended with the number three, which was like mm -hmm. in the mid 2000s. But then mm -hmm. all, all of a the sudden they had the idea to do three more movies, official three more movies. So I was very excited with, uh, by knowing that the main, mm, yes, the main character was going to be Han Solo, which was my, is still my childhood hero. Like, there was no one bigger than Han Solo for me when I was a little kid. It was like, wow, that guy, my hero. And they, they kill him in that movie. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. I cried. Yeah, I feel you. I feel cried. You. It hit it it, it, it it hit me and I couldn't help. I was like, oh my God, I remember. I feel like, like a little kid. And I'm like, Disney, come on. I mean, <laughs> why Han? Why Han? You could have killed Jar Jar Binks. You could have killed anyone. But why this one? So I understand how you feel, man. It's it's what I wanted to, like, that I wanted you guys to to share, you know, because movies hit, hit movies or series, depending on what you prefer to watch, also hit us in a very personal level. Uh, they sh they hit our memories. They hit our emotions. We get deeply involved with some of the content that we watch, to the point that we return to it every once in a while, or we treasure we treasure those type of things. Is there uh, something being series, being show, being movie that you love to watch, but not everybody likes? and something that you don't like that everybody loves, Adri. I uh, something that I like that nobody else likes. I don't think so. I'm honestly I really like a lot of mainstream things, so I can't really say. But okay. on the other hand, something that I don't like that others like, and I'm so sorry, I don't like the Lord of the Rings, and I really like Star Wars. I played the video game, the, the Lord of the Rings, and I had a lot of fun playing it, but I can't watch the movies. They are very long for me. And <laughs> with Star Wars, I ended up falling asleep, I admit. <laughs> I guess maybe those I, I mean, I mean, that's the beauty of this. Like, there is something for everyone. Like, mm -hmm. that's what genres are for. I mean, there's so much out there. Like, I mean, of course you feel good when you are able to talk about, uh, when you are able to talk about the things that you like with other people. But if not, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> you know, I have no problem with it. What about you, Jordi? Do you like or love something that everybody hates and vice versa? I think yeah, so. Yeah, I, I, I have an answer for both uh, situations. <laughs> Okay, I am re go. really, really, really into uh, independent stuff, but like indie stuff, like you know, a uh, Ukrainian movies, but they speak Arabic or something like that, or uh, independent, uh, I don't know, uh, Serbian found footage movies, and I don't think uh, a lot of people enjoy those things. Um, I enjoy, for example, the uh, the Monty Python movies. And not a lot of I people know. are into Monty Python. I mean, it's my kind of humor, but not not everyone uh, gets them. I think. 
And something that I dislike, and apparently everybody likes, I have to say this, uh, Disney. Uh, it's not my thing. I mean, I haven't watched anything that Disney has made recently. Uh, I mean, recently, for the last, what, eight, nine years, it's just not my thing. And everyone likes Disney. For the last eight years. So from that, I understand that you that you watched something when growing up? Yeah. Some course. of it? Yeah. For example, uh, why did I brought this up? Because, I mean, it's my favorite Disney movie. I think it's highly underrated. And with the pass of time, I think it's getting behind a little bit. And I don't think it should be for, it should be forgotten. And it's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, yes. I think it's, uh, it was, you know, I, I wouldn't, I don't know. I have a dilemma. I think everyone should watch that movie at least once, but I want to recommend it to little kids because it touches so, it, 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 it talks about so many serious stuff. Maybe they couldn't comprehend and it gets very like hard to watch at some point, but yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I think we can all agree that, you know, recently a lot of banal content has been released, not only from Disney, but from, from in general, a lot of companies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like there is hardly, you know, in my opinion, I don't know what you guys think, uh, but in my opinion, right now, there is hardly a movie or a TV series that maybe can mark a generation or maybe will transcend as mm -hmm. a classic i can name a few examples that i think they are but i mean it's not like in previous decades like you can yeah. name a you can name tons of movies tons of tv shows but mm -hmm. you know there is a gem every once in a while for example you were i was uh, i was writing with i was writing i was chatting with adri a while ago and <laughs> she told me that she doesn't really watch TV a lot, but she has found some things recently that have interest her a lot. Can you tell me a little bit of that? Please? Um, well, um, because I used to watch TV a lot, I, I am very judgy of what I watch. So I really need, if the first 20 minutes of an episode doesn't catch my attention, that's it. So uh, <laughs> I think the last TV show that I'm being watched, and it wasn't even that good, but it entertained me, was a Wednesday. One from the, okay. the Adams, uh, the family, sure. the Adams family. And it, I watched, I mean, it's a short, it's eight episodes. I watched them. In a day, like I would in the morning, I watched two episodes and then I gave a class and then I watched another episode and then I gave a class and then an episode and at the end I finished watching it everything. <laughs> but I think that my record was when um, I, it was my first time watching anime. I decided to watch uh, One Piece because a lot of people talked about it and it was a Netflix and it was <laughs> there. So I said, okay, supposedly the episodes are 20 minutes. It's not that much. And I started watching it and I got interested. And I even got myself a subscription in the Crunchyroll that it's an app especially for anime. And soon enough, after two months, if not less than two months, I watched 1,000 episodes. So, yes, I watched the whole thing. Respect. <laughs> I know. Respect. <laughs> Respect. I mean, I'm an otaku and I haven't even, you know, finished One Piece. Like, hats yes, off okay. to you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. What about you, Jordi? Have you watched anything recently that has caught your attention in a big way? Recently? Well, to be honest, I haven't had a chance to watch anything recently. I uh, understand. I understand. Yeah. Bro, I understand. Uh, I mean, I did watch uh, Wednesday, and it wasn't my thing. I was like, nah. um, it. In, I mean, in my opinion, it's like one of those things aimed to young ladies. 
Uh, but it wasn't like appealing to me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, I, I watched it because my wife uh, watched it and I was like, okay, yeah, let's have some popcorn together. But, <laughs> uh, but like recently, I think that an interesting thing that I uh, found uh, recently, well, I have two. Um, this series is on Netflix, uh, 1899. The mm -hmm, one from sure. uh, yeah. Raiders of Dark. I mean, by the way, Dark is uh, uh, is one of my favorite things. I mean, on my favorite shows, I really enjoyed it. So I I started 1899 with the same, you know, expecting something like that. Uh, I haven't finished it because, as I said, I haven't had the time. <laughs> and, and I also found uh, another series on on Netflix that is called Norsemen. And the the best way I can describe it is like uh, Vikings meets a uh, Monty Python. It's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, it's really great. I mean, I enjoyed it a lot. It is kind of your thing, Norse mythology, yeah. Norse culture. Yeah, and yeah. absurd humor. So yeah, I was totally in. I need to know uh, once you finish uh, 1899. I need to know what you think of it because. Yes, no, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Just finish it and, yeah. and, and let, let me know what you think. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. One of the yeah. things that I hate from this world, <laughs> it's spoilers. So. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome, Jen, my, my good sir. So, guys, guys, guys. Now, I had something in mind for Adri. Because earlier, it caught my attention that she used a term that I have to admit, I have to confess, I wasn't familiar with it. And maybe our viewers aren't as well. Now I know what it is, but who better than Adri herself to explain this to us and to, you know, make the vocabulary or our viewers a little bit bigger. So... Adri, please explain us. What can be binge watching? Oh, God. Oh, well, um, <laughs> it technically or basically means that you watch a whole series uh, like you uh, for in a sit down. Like you watch it and watch it. Like watch it. Practically, Netflix tells you that. Are you still there? <laughs> so yes, you are still watching and watching and watching until you finish it. Yeah. All right. And you tell me that you recently did that with Wednesday, and well, not in a day, but you know, managing your time. You 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 finished One Piece yes. in a matter of how how, how much? Two months. You said? Uh, maximum of two months, more or less. Yeah. Yes. Damn. <laughs> yes. All right. Have you done bin wa binge watching, Jordi? Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, Which, well, I, wh when, with what? I binge watched the last season of Dark. Hmm. Uh, this uh the the bbc version of sherlock i mean it's very short you have like mm -hmm. what 12 episodes 13 episodes i've uh i binge watched it like i mean i used to do it like once a year but sure. now i now i don't because i mean it's 12 episodes i mean <laughs> uh, i binge watched the godfather movies uh i have been watched the lord of the ring movies extended versions um <laughs> yeah and uh, maybe some other things. <laughs> ah, the, the Indiana Jones movies, because I'm a big Indiana Jones fan. Oh! Yeah, yeah so you can imagine I'm super hyped with the announcement of the fifth movie. I'm like, yes! <laughs> and I'm kind of nervous as well with that. Yes. I'm also a fan. But I mean, I mean, Harrison Ford is 80. I'm like, please don't, don't, don't make him look ridiculous or something. I mean, I hope the, the character has... Uh, has a worthy closure yeah a worthy goodbye i mean of course i'm gonna watch it. of course i'm gonna watch it but i'm, yeah, I'm, I'm also absolutely. very afraid and uh, oh my god thanks to this i i went from excited 
to really nervous and to really anxious right now. But, oh but my, sorry. <laughs> I'm still okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. So, guys, now <laughs> let's get into a little bit of funny business. Have you put any responsibilities aside or in risk because you maybe watched another episode of a series that you were watching or maybe you uh, took some time off to go to the movies and watch a movie that you were really hoping to, to see? Did, have you had anything like that? Adi. Definitely. I maybe think, I think yeah, I think she <laughs> I think the worst situation happened. I mean, now with the pandemic I have made a lot of bad decisions. <laughs> Especially watching TV. <coughs> and um hmm. I don't remember what TV show I was watching. It was an old one, I think. Like it already finished and everything. And I was watching a show uh, an episode. And I was watching the, the clock and I said, okay, it's 9, 9 p.m. If I watch two more episodes, I can sleep around 12. Not bad. At the third episode. And then I was like, okay, maybe I can watch another one. Okay, maybe another one. I ended up sleeping around 4 a.m. And the best thing was that I have to give a class at 7 a.m. the next day. So I was uh, practically a zombie. Yeah. Like, class. good morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, what is meta in English? <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. I couldn't help myself. Yes. What about you, Jordi? Like, sacrificing responsibilities? No, not really. I have sacrificed sleep time as well, but not like responsibilities. Like, uh, I arrive late to, a, to an appointment or to a class or something. No, never. But... <laughs> I have sacrificed okay. a lot of hours of sleep because of watching something. Mm -hmm. Like an entire night, maybe? Like uh, yes. like we say, did you arrive maybe to your place of work or did you gave a class en vivo? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh <my> gosh. <laughs> yeah. You've got to pay the consequences. Oh my God, man, but that is a boss level thing to do, man. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been wonderful. There is so much we need to cover, and there's so much I want to talk about, but unfortunately, our time is almost up. But before we go, we interrupt the show to go over some of the series and films that the guests have recommended. These may not be very well known or have different names in Spanish. They were American Gods, Hannibal, Midsommar, Train to Busan, The Witch, Spirited Away, which in Spanish is El Viaje de Chihiro, My Neighbor Totoro, and House Moving Castle, which in Spanish is El Increíble Castillo Vagabundo. And remember, you can watch them in English with subtitles in English, or in the case of the anime ones, you can watch them in Japanese with subtitles in English. Now, the show must go on. Let's bring back one of our recent activities for the let's talk show and i am talking about the rapid fire round question number one going to the movie theater or watching streaming adri going to the theater Jordi. streaming <laughs> favorite movie adri Harry Potter. Which one? The seven of them. I can't choose because I oh. read the book and then I watch the movie. Fair enough. Fair enough. Jordi. Um, Inception. Hmm. Yes. Great. Favorite TV show or series? Adri. The Hunting of Hill House. Oh. 
Ooh. Jordi. Doctor Who. Oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> Guilty pleasure to watch. Adri. So blooper <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I don't watch them a lot, but yeah. <laughs> I totally understand. I totally understand. Jordi. Mean Girls. Oh, yes. Really? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Pink Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Looking forward to have one. Looking forward to have one as well. Yeah. Very, very nice, bro. And finally, the easiest one. Favorite snack to uh, when watching something. Adri. Popcorn. <clears throat> Jordi. Absolutely, popcorn. All right, guys. Very nice. Just to get to know you a little bit better and for our viewers to enjoy what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for your participation. This has been one, this has been a wonderful session. I had a very good time. Looking forward to have you guys in another show soon. Of course. But until then, I wish you the best in any future endeavors and I'll be seeing you soon. You too. Thank you, Mike. No, thank you guys. Always, always nice and to be here. Yes, and you guys are always welcome. You guys are always welcome. And Thank for you. all of our viewers, I hope you have enjoyed today's session. Be sure to tune in for every Let's Talk show. We do it every Wednesday. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. With us, there was Adri, there was Jordi, Eric Rios was in the controls. I am Mike Rees. And for this time, I bid you adieu. Goodbye. And good night. Bang. Hasta la vista, baby.